We're having a party here. I hope you're enjoying it at home too. Immigration is back on the agenda in a big way this week as President Trump meets with House Republicans Tuesday to see if they can hash out a deal. Meanwhile, as the economy takes off under Trumponomics, big business jumped on data showing there are now more job vacancies than there are people unemployed to demand a loosening of immigration rules so they can import more cheap labor. There's just one problem. We still have one of the lowest labor participation rates in the Western world. If we had just the UK's rate, for example, that would mean millions more Americans in work. So here's an idea for you fat cats in corporate America. Instead of lazily importing foreign workers, why don't you spend some of your profits training American workers so they can take the jobs that the booming economy is creating? And cool to your favorite topic, can we just start with this, this, this sort of the sort of sadly predictable response to economic success that, oh, it means we need more immigration. <laughs> it, it is strange. It's the one thing rich people, very rich people, don't brag about. You know how people are always bragging about the, how expensive their cars are and how much the bottle of wine is and this refrigerator I got? No, the one thing they don't want to brag about how much they're spending on is human labor. No, when it comes to that, it, you're, you're Nancy Pelosi whomever, or, or Sheldon Allison, you know, whomever. I don't mean to pick on him, but um, they just want cheaper and cheaper and cheaper labor. And there is no better example of your swamp than the fact that the, the signature issue that this um, historic candidate ran on, the Republicans in the House are doing the exact opposite, trying to push through an amnesty or as um, a host on an earlier Fox show today said, and people are going to cut, you know, conservatives are going to call this amnesty an amnesty. So, so watch out for those crazy right wingers. Okay, so let's, let's, I just got to focus on this. There's a sort of slightly sort of nerdy policy thing here that I, I want yeah. to uh, yeah. get to, which is this labor participation point. Because of course it's true that when the economy grows rapidly, as we're seeing now, there's a crunch, and you hear it all the time, but we can't find workers. That's true. But it's also true that you've got so many people sitting on the sidelines. The unemployment rate is falling to historic lows, but the labor participation rate isn't changing very much. It's people who may be um, affected by opioids, or they don't have the skills, or they've given up. Corporate America could do so much more to help those Americans before just saying, bring us in more... Well, and that's where the expense of all the social safety network is, and that that when you start to ride, get the the uh, part, labor, per, labor participation rates up, then you get a more productive economy. You've got better people feel better about themselves; yes. they contribute, and then you don't spend as much on welfare and doing all these programs mm -hmm. and just giving a handout all the time. Yeah, uh, but look. Immigration goes hand in glove with this. I mean, we just had the Secretary of Homeland Security today go out and say, look, they're not coming to the port of entry. They're trying to go in between. And then we have this debate about whether or not we should spend out of a $46 trillion expenditure that we're going to go through in this country over the next 10 years, should we spend $25 billion building a wall to help our right. border patrol? I mean, it's ridiculous. Mm. So, I, you know, I reject amnesty. I don't think that's the way to do it. I feel a higher moral obligation for the person who's trying to come in here legally and lawfully. Right. That's the person I want to have or come the to this American country. American trying to get a yeah. job. Right. So, Kimberly, look, they, let's bring it up to date. We got, this, we got these bills going on in the House next week, and the president's weighing in. I think he tweeted about it just recently um, tonight. What, what do you see is the potential for anything happening here? Yeah, well, I, is, I think he'll do a better job of coming up with a fresh new idea himself because these people have failed in the past. They'll fail him again. They don't know how to build a coalition or get anybody to work together. And it's just a bunch of crybabies, and they're not serving the American people. Why aren't we using and employing the people here, making them feel better about themselves? I'm all for giving somebody a helping hand, mm -hmm. but you're not helping anybody by continuing to give handouts. Why don't we do something to get these people engaged in the work? Workforce. For the first time now, we have more jobs right. Than, right, than people to be able to even fill them. So we've got to get that labor participation rate up. And the answer isn't amnesty. Let's just flood the market, bring some more people in, or bring or allow people to stay that have broken the law to begin with. There's a yes. legal process that needs to be observed and respected. That's why you got to build the wall and secure the borders, and everybody needs to take their turn and get in line. That's why I'm very frustrated with people blaming the president, saying he's mean-spirited, getting upset about children. Children being separated, 
don't break the law. Don't bring your family over illegally and then blame us when you have total disregard for the laws that we have on the books. We're a nation of immigrants, right? right? right. That's great. We encourage people to come in, follow the rules, wait your turn in line. We will take care of you. But we are going to employ the people who are here lawfully, the citizens that should be working and make them feel better about themselves. Well, I mean, and just to pick up on that, the everyone's talking about this family child separation thing. Isn't it very clear? The humane alternative to separating children from their families is build the wall. Yes. Then you won't have anyone coming. Yes. Won't, isn't that so Well, funny? I quoted um, the most quoted federal judge in my book, Adios America, Richard Posner. Yes. Lawyers will know who he is, and hardly a conservative. And, you know, 20 years ago, he wrote an, a concurrence to an opinion that involved anchor babies to say, We've got to stop this. He was talking about anchor babies, but it's the same thing with the wall. As long as people can come here, so by drop the way, some a people baby, really hate that. Start getting that, what that's a term that a lot of people have a problem with, isn't it? Anchor oh, babies? They, because they have a problem with any way we can communicate about immigration. Their 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 strategy: don't let people think about immigration. Don't let them know any facts. Anchor baby. There's nothing racial. There's nothing sexual. It means you anchor the child here, and then the child can bring in all the relatives. It's a boating metaphor. So yeah, they're upset about it because it allows people to discuss immigration and then chain migration. And chain yeah. migration. But look, back then Posner said, as long as you oh incentivize people to come here from south of the border they're going to keep dying crossing through the desert as long as you keep that magnet on and what greater magnet than citizenship than medicare medicaid free health care yeah that's why people voted for well and i would also say one other thing these child actors weeping and crying on all the other networks 24 7 right now um do not fall for it mr president um <laughs> i get very nervous about the president getting well, his news from tv because Okay. Um, I, I also have an idea of America. A New I don't Yorker, know if I, well, I don't, I, I don't know if that's... New Yorker is not a conservative okay. publication. They describe. So I told you how we wouldn't get a word. In. <laughs> I told these you. These kids are being. I'm coached. so sorry. We have to go. They're given scripts to read by liberals, according to the New Yorker. Don't well, fall for the actor children. Okay. Thank you for getting <laughs> that off your chest.